In my mind, minimalism is not the guy that wears the same t-shirt every day. Nor is it that all white apartment with no decorations. I mean, it can be, but that's not my only definition of minimalism. Minimalism to me is only bringing purposeful things into your life. It's about only having the contacts of people who are currently in your life. It's about only buying things that will serve you a longer purpose instead of something that will serve you a trend. It's about waking up in the morning with intentions rather than leaving too much to choice and getting decision paralysis. It's about understanding that you already have enough in your life instead of writing a Christmas list to Santa. It's just about living more intentionally. Happiness is not having what you want, but wanting what you have. Happy Vlogmas Day 14, everyone. I decided to do something a little different for Christmas this year. This year, I wrapped up a lot of things that had been gifted to me or I bought myself and I decided to make that my Christmas present to myself because I wanted to have some sort of reminder that I shouldn't search for things that I want when I already have so much. So, this first present is my blazer and I wrapped this up because a few months ago I felt like since graduation I just hadn't really gotten out of my student mentality and I, I felt like my clothes and just my whole parents just felt like a student still and I wanted to feel more like an adult so Emilio very kindly gifted me this blazer which I love a lot and it makes me feel more fitted to the moment in life that I'm currently in. The second gift is something very special. My vlogging camera, which I bought myself just after I turned 18 because I really wanted to start a YouTube channel and look where we are now. So I'm very grateful to this camera. This big boy is my painting. So I'm very grateful for this painting because one of Emil's family members painted it for us moving into this apartment. Emil's from Venice and so it's a painting of Venice. I'm so grateful that someone spent like eight hours painting this just for us and I really appreciate it. It was just a little gratitude exercise that I wanted to do. Maybe you should try it out as well because I actually felt just as happy opening up the things that I have for the second time and if anything I felt maybe a little bit more gratitude towards all the things I have in my life and if people still really want to give you something then maybe ask them in the style of Eat, Pray, Love and her birthday, ask them to gift it to charities to help those that actually need something this year. I know that my mom used to do something really cool where she would take toys that I wasn't using anymore as a kid and she would gift them to kids that weren't gonna have any Christmas presents to help them not feel left out around this time of year. And it's really sad to think that we've created this atmosphere around Christmas that if you don't get a gift, you're missing out. I don't know, it just doesn't sit right for me. I feel like the most important thing at this time of year is the people in your life rather than the things you have. On digital minimalism, simply put, humans are not wired to be constantly wired. Now, I made a video however many days ago about a day in the life with no technology. And when I went to bed that night, I was like, I still don't want to pick up my phone. Like I kind of missed my laptop a bit. Uh, you know, Vlogmas was calling, so I had to go back to my laptop, but I like had no need or want to go and charge my phone and turn it on. And so I'm going to see how long I can go without my phone. Maybe I'll just try five days because I just feel like, as this quote says, I feel constantly wired. I feel wired to people and things and not necessarily people that are in my close circle, you know, and I just wanted to get rid of excess in my life for a while, even if it meant also getting rid of some family and friends that I do want to be in contact with, obviously. And it's been such a good exercise to just focus on the things that's actually real in here right now and not focusing on what's on your phone. And I know that I'm like an old record every time I talk about phones and social media and stuff, but seriously, try a day without technology and just appreciate smelling things, touching things, the sound of normal life. On this aspect of digital minimalism, one thing that I've done this year and I recommend is getting rid of all those subscriptions that you forget you're even subscribed to. And yeah, go for everything that you're paying for and you're not even really thinking about the end of the month and think like, do I really need that? And finally, on the digital minimalism aspect, when was the last time you cleared your phone camera storage or your laptop storage? Because I feel so clean and, and clear when I do that and I'm gonna do it the second the video ends. <laughs> on physical minimalism? If it's not a hell yes, it's a no. Have you ever been in the dressing room and seen a piece of clothing and tried it on? 
and you're looking at it thinking, yeah, okay, it's maybe not my style or maybe this, the, it's not sitting quite right on me, but it's something that's really trendy and people think I look cool in it. So I'm going to get it. Don't get that. The amount of times I bought a piece of clothing because I wanted to fit in or because it was a, like a trend at the time. And then I look back and I'm like, I've never worn that because it wasn't something that was a hell yes for me. It was a, mm, it'll do for a couple months. You'll be so surprised how much of your wardrobe you can get rid of just by looking at things you don't wear or also to stop accumulating so much stuff stop saying yes to things that are hell no and this isn't even just about material things sometimes it can be as simple as if you're meant to go out and watch a movie at the cinema and that day you're like i don't actually feel like watching that movie or going today it's not a hell yes so it's a hell no i actually heard this phrase like first from emilio i don't know who he he got it from but i, I use it all the time. I use it when I'm grocery shopping and I'm thinking about things like, do I really need that? Because I'm someone that hates food waste. And so I always like make sure that I've planned a real list of things that I'm actually gonna eat that week. And so that nothing goes in the bin at the end of the week because it's just more clutter and it's more waste at the end of the day. When given too many choices, people tend to worry that there's something better out there than what they decided on. I'm sure Gen Z millennials feel this more than any other generation. We have too much choice nowadays. I have too many films on demand that I can watch whenever I want compared to like when I was a kid and like I had to watch whatever was on the TV at that point on the one channel I had. I didn't have the choice to go through thousands of shows on Netflix and watch that. I just, I had to turn the TV on and the choice was made for me. And it's the same as when you're a kid and your parents make the dinner. So you're not thinking about what you're eating. You're just eating what you're given. Like now I have to think about my own meals every day. I'm like, but do I really want that? Or could I make that? Maybe I'm not so much in the mood for that. And too much choice is just not good. Like write yourself a four week list. I've written a list of like fruity meals that I really like eating. And I'm just gonna keep going through those instead of constantly thinking, mm, but I could have this tonight, but simplify the choices that you have to make so that you can feel more assured on the choices you've made. There was actually a study on dementia patients where they were given either one class or entertainment for the day that they were to go to, or they were given options. And the options stressed the dementia patients out so much because it's not good to have too much choice, simply put. And I think that was a very interesting study to then reflect onto your own life and to think, are your intentions clear throughout the day or are you giving yourself too much choice and then finding yourself in the nothingness of it all. On choice minimalism, too much choice leads to decision paralysis. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way, but consumerism has just went too far. You wake up and it's Black Friday and you go and you're just shopping for something. You're not even sure what you're shopping for anymore because there's a discount and the discount makes you want to buy things. You're at a restaurant and this restaurant has a hundred items on the list. And so you don't even know what you want. And when you pick the thing you want, you're not even sure you're happy with it. When in reality, a restaurant that does a couple things and does a couple things right is way better and you're going to be happier with your choice. Or you look at your closet and there's so many things that you just feel ripped apart by the inability to choose on one thing. I think it's something we have to be very careful for and just be way more intentional with all of the choices we have to make in a day and how much it clutters not only our space but our mind. I think that too much choice can also be such a factor in procrastination because you can think oh I could be doing this or this or this and I'm just gonna do none because that's too hard to make that decision. I have found myself like doing that before when it came to exam season at university and I had too many subjects to study for that I just ended up not studying because I felt so overwhelmed by the amount of choice. Minimalism is built around the idea that there's nothing that you're lacking. Are you really lacking physical things like a new pair of shoes or a new jacket or a 15th jumper? Or are you lacking things mentally like the ability to talk how you're really feeling instead of building it all up? Are you lacking the courage to try this thing you've always wanted to try. Sometimes I think that when we're so busy wanting things and items that we should take a step back and think about the things we're actually lacking in because it's normally not physical things. It's normally coming from within. And sorry to go back to social media again, but sometimes it's as simple as you see the people around you with something that you immediately think you need it when you don't need that. You want to post something on Instagram to feel like you're more worthy when it's just not the case. And it goes back to this whole posting idea where, which is another reason I hate Instagram and especially stories because you feel the need to post something really cool 
every day so everyone can look at you and be like she's so cool when you took the time to think about what you were going to post that day you know is it really cool or are we just all living in some dystopian future maybe i'm getting a bit ahead of myself here but <laughs> that's how i feel okay guys thank you for watching today's video on vlogmas day 13 i love you all so much thank you for the support during vlogmas and see you tomorrow <laughs>